Here. Okay. We'll start soon. 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 Like an echo. Yep. Make it a little bigger. Eyes goes in old age. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Eh, we'll be fine in a second. Yeah, that would definitely be an interesting podcast. Uh, someone said hit uh, Zerka and Brute for a podcast. Those two would definitely have an interesting show. Yeah, I, there's no chance that uh, Zerka would run house over Brute like he does everyone else. All right, fellas, I haven't done this in a while. And the fact of the matter is I was in L.A. I mean, L.A. I was in Las Vegas. And I was making moves. I was in this beautiful freaking studio in the wind. Uh, Blue Wire Studio, absolutely amazing. But, you know, it's time to go through some content. Let's do it. My name is Jubilee. I am 25, and I do have OnlyFans. How long have you been doing that? Just about, like, two months. What got, got you into it? I lost my ground. So, this girl is maybe, like, a five or a six. And this bitch is doing OnlyFans. Like, a, 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 a average woman is doing OnlyFans. Like, and what, what the fuck does a hoe like this earn a month? I mean, she isn't very attractive. And, 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 and hold on, hold on. See, I'm not in a business where people judge me on my looks. People judge me on my intellect. So, yes, I can judge an OnlyFans hoe on her looks and not say, yo, it's not subjective to myself. Because I am not in a profession that requires me to look good. There is a difference, you dumbass feminist. Having said that, yeah, dude. Grandpa, he's very close to me. I kind of want to go with his legacy, and I kind of want to do it for him. Wait a minute. You, you want to do that for what? You want to do OnlyFans to honor your grandfather's legacy? <laughs> <laughs> her her grandfather's legacy. <laughs> she no no no. Your grandfather most likely believed in honor killings, not raising hoes. Was More he like, like a corn a star bit, or something? No, it's kind of like um, I've been wanting to kind of like keep his legacy going. I don't know if I just misheard you. You said that you are. Yeah, can you can you say can it you, again? Can you explain how you're honoring your grandfather's yeah, honoring. legacy? He was a minister, so he didn't. Your daddy was a minister, and you're honoring him by doing OnlyFans. This is this is this is female logic. Make much money. And that's like a way that I thought would help out. Huh? Okay, you dumb broad. 
this, 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 this right here. This is what women mostly can sell. This is what it comes down to with them. This is what they mostly can sell. Now, there are some intellectuals out there, but most of the women are dumb broads. So this is what they're, this is what they can sell. Again, most of this shit is makeup. Most of this shit is makeup. These broads probably don't even look this way. I'd rather meet a guy when he is financially stable, so I know- I bet you would, bitch. ...know that I'm his dream girl, and then just saying- You're his dream what? You know what? Money's not everything. Money's not everything. Gee. Oh, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? She wants to meet someone who's financially stable, but money ain't everything. <laughs> I can't imagine how long that list of men must be that lie awake every single night dreaming of that perfect dream girl. The one that only wants to be with them when they're a financial success, that didn't want to be there through any of the hard times when they were struggling, but only wants to be there for the good. Yeah, that sounds like most women. Man, my girl never leave me. Man, my girl never cheat on me. Uh, first of all, my girl will never leave me. I can say that with the utmost confidence. My girl will never cheat on me. You can fucking say whatever you want, you bitch ass dude. Maybe your bitch cheats on you. Maybe when you out there fucking hustling, your bitch is someone sucking in someone else's dick. That ain't happened in my household, motherfucker. How many, how many of you stupid motherfuckers say some, some fugazi ass shit like It's real when it comes to me, pimp. Maybe, again, you don't have what it takes to hold down your bitch. You best believe I have what it takes to hold down my wife. That fuck before. I did. I know you did, motherfucker. My, my girl never do me like because my girl would never, you know, that's the difference. I have numerology and astrology. I have that. Some of you guys believe in God and you go in front of a priest and my mom to get married just to get fucking divorced in a couple years. See, I don't have those experiences. Two decades. Two decades. I ain't like this simp. Like that. She'll never cheat on me. They're only as loyal as their options. And if you're not the best option, do you really I'm the smartest guy there is. I'm always the best option. I'm always the smartest guy in the room. Really not going to be loyal, bro. But, they, but see, they are trying to make it seem like you're the best option. So when y'all... See, this is projection. This is, this is a, a dude who got his feelings hurt by some bitch. And now he's out here fucking talking about, yo, all you motherfuckers. Are nah, dude. You can't handle your bitch. A majority of people can't handle your bit their bitch. I don't have problems like that, pimp. It was twenty four hours to a day. It's a smart guy, man. He was born in the year of the monkey. Uh Gregory. Very, very smart guy. They tell you you're supposed to sleep what? Eight hours. And so now you got how many left? Sixteen. And then you're supposed to work what? Eight hours. And now you got what left? Eight hours. You haven't cooked? You haven't got dressed? You haven't said hello to the children. You have a sleep deprivation. That's how they get you. You haven't watched TV. But I am telling you right now. The average doctor is not making 200,000 plus. They're in debt. Yeah. I, I have to push it in perspective. So the niggas, when y'all say I want people that make over 500,000, y'all don't even want doctors. That is true. Y'all want That's some unrealistic true. type of shit. I'm telling you, I'm a unicorn. I'm a one of one. I shouldn't even be me. When y'all say y'all want niggas who are making hundreds of thousands, a doctor comes out usually quarter million or more in debt. So they're going to be in debt for the next 10 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. And whatever you might think their salary is, even if it's 300000 after they're done paying student loans, they're paying for maybe a mortgage. <laughs> they definitely bamboozled a lot of people, man. I can make a fucking quarter million a month with my, with my eyes closed. <laughs> it's a fucking joke, man. And then when people think I got money, I know people who make fucking 50 million a day. Money ain't going to make you totally happy. It'll at least the hell out of it. They also have a kid and they have a wife. And I'm 5'10". 5'10"? Dress size? I'm a dress size. By the way, Kevin Samuels is the OG of uh, the Red Pill game. No doubt about it. Eight. Okay. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 
And if you had to rank yourself on a scale from one to ten, fresh face out of the shower, your natural hair, you can't use seven. What would you give yourself? I give myself a solid nine point eight. <laughs> nine point eight. What well, fucking mirror lie to you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that look says it all, man. If it wasn't for this motherfucker taking the, he'd still be alive. I'm fine. One time, I was talking to this guy, and someone attempted to murder him, and he got hit by a car, and I just like it gave him an ick. He would have to limp off and like cry. Let me get this straight. Was a person actually out to get him? Yeah, like they got in a fight and then he got out of the car and like the guy attempted to run him over and kill him. But he survived and it's like I couldn't talk to him anymore. Something is the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Who the fuck? Are? I didn't quite understand what happened. What? One time I was talking to this guy and someone attempted to murder him. So she's talking to a guy and someone attempted to murder him. him? And he got hit by a car and I just like it gave him an ick. What? Some dude got hit by a car that you're talk. You fucking dumb fucking cunt. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. With men, one dating advice. I think that men are just inferior to women. What? In, in what way, bitch? She's How so? I think no matter what, a powerful man will simp to a woman. They uh, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Maybe the bit, the motherfucker beta ass males you're around will sit for you. I won't give you a goddamn thing except a fucking smile, which comes for free. You fucking whore. Therefore, a woman in every circumstance yeah. in life is superior to a man. Yo, bitch. What happens when your looks fade? I mean, you're not even all that as it is. What happens when your looks fade? What are you going to do then? You best have that bag. You best rob a couple men through divorce before your looks fade, you dumb fucking bitch. Man, the most wealthy man in the world. I'll still make you simp for me. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. See, this is the problem. She's been around way too many beta males. I want to give you a goddamn thing, bitch. Something is wrong with you. With men, one dating advice. I think that men are just inferior. This is just, just this, this is just amazing. It's a woman. What did she say? How so? I think no matter what, a powerful man will simp to a woman. Therefore, a woman in every circumstance yeah. in life is superior to a man. The most wealthy man. Put that bitch back in change, you fucking hoe. I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart, Yikes. and <laughs> it was fun. Did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I mean, the whole time I was- You guys listening to this? You guys listening to this shit? This bitch just wanted to see if she could break a man's heart. Wow. You fucking little demon. Look at the pure pleasure she has in saying this, too. Seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. A psychology experiment. Experiment, and I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. Yikes. And <laughs> it was amazing. Amazing. Now I understand why Jesse says it. I want a woman to choose you when she got better options. I feel like I'm a decent option. You may be decent, but you're not better. I said better. That means you got if you're not a better option, if you want if you want to you want better outcomes, you gotta do the work. See, you want more than you're willing to work for. You don't even want to approach a woman. Yeah, he's right, man. Most of these guys or simps, they don't even want to talk to women. It's amazing. You think a woman should approach you. That's why you get nothing. You're sitting back entitled. I think I'm a pretty decent pick. Good. How's that working for you? Dick? Well, actually, it's working pretty well for me. It's working well because oh, the problems that affect you other men, I don't have those problems. Like, I, I, don't, I, I don't, I'm not broke. I don't have my bitch fucking going around fucking sucking other people off. Or I'm definitely not Logan Paul. We'll get to that motherfucker in a second. Dry as hell. 
I have been with my fiance for seven years. We got engaged last year and he is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Recently, while surfing alone, I met this guy and we had a great first conversation. He is incredibly attractive, intelligent, driven, and confident. He is recently married and asked for my number at the end of the surf session. I made it clear it should be a double date because I'm engaged and he's married. Fast forward two months and we've all hung out a couple of times. However, the more we hang out, the more I am growing a real crush on this guy. I feel guilty for feeling this way. This has never happened to me before and I'm constantly uneasy because the temptation is very real. Are you surprised? Are you surprised at all? But what I'm saying is she didn't do anything wrong the first time. Huh? Yes, she did. You're saying Are you ready the number for exchange? It? Yeah. yeah. Who but, does that? You don't just give some random person your number. You don't ever just give true. some random guess, person your fucking number. I guess like you you did you did this. You did this to yourself. I have been with my So here's the thing, guys. When it comes down to women, if she's a whore, the right guy is going to find her. Unless you just keep her locked up. If she's a whore, the right guy is going to find her. Women will make exceptions for certain guys. If she's a whore here on the inside, that right there is going to happen. That's why you need to learn numerology and astrology. You need to understand what Venus is. You need to understand the placements. You need to understand that stuff. Because if you do, you're going to be in my situation. 20 years, no divorce. She's not yours, it's just your turn, bro. Here's another simp. <laughs> Sometimes, G, she leaves you to be with another guy. <laughs> you mean another guy who's richer, another guy who fucks her better, another guy who fucking listens to her bullshit feelings, or, or just manipulates her better. But usually he's just fucking her better. Because she wasn't even for you in the first place, G. You she left you, bro. Move on in life. Rinse dude. <laughs> he's some salty ass motherfuckers over here, man. Look cool. you see how he's has his shit like this in a defensive position. Man, listen. You listen to these guys, they're gonna tell you they're alphas. But if a woman's cheating on you, you're not an alpha. If you were, she wouldn't have cheated on you, you dumb motherfucker. Look at this. Look at this pathetic behavior, man. Cry me a fucking river, motherfucker. Good dude, G. Rent due on the first. Lights bills due. You still got to buy food. Still got to put gas in your car. Yeah, and? What's new? She's not yours. It's just your turn, bro. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Catholic girl, what, what's up? Yo, you're going to save her for marriage? So whose life is harder, guys or girls? Girls. girls. These bitches are delusional. Sad. Why girls? Periods. 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 Okay, you're fucked up one time a month. Men have to fucking go out there and fucking grind every fucking day. All you gotta do is fucking be pretty and smile. Get the fuck over it. Yeah, it is more difficult because women have babies. But I mean, you know, just like women don't like to have accountability and men have to, I guess that's your way of, you know, the universe holding you accountable. Open those legs, that motherfucker's coming out. Birth. We give birth. Birth periods. Okay. Every, every but guys can... Months, and we literally have to get ready to go out. You guys have to take a shower and, like, put on a sweatshirt. Guys... Oh, you, we, you have to get ready. You mean you have to lie and put on makeup and make yourself look prettier because you're actually not that good looking. You lying fucking bitch. Kill themselves at a much higher rate than females do. That sucks. That sucks, of course. It's not saying that I won't get married, but if I do get married, it's going to be what I want and not what the man wants. This dude, how much money would you like him to make a year? Over 60 million. Over 60 million a fucking year? Who are you looking for, Kanye West? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Huh? Are you saying 60 five. million? Five, five, five or 60. So here's the five. Five. You think you're worth five million a year? Nah, bitch. 
You're worth fucking 50K. If that. A complicated question. This man who, on a good day, he's making somewhere between five and 60 million. Respect. He's six one. Why would he pick you? I wouldn't know why he would. I guess it's the attraction. My Attracted to what, man? Got a whole bunch of makeup on. You don't even look like that. Shut up. My day-to-day -day life. <laughs> I don't need a man to fix my car. I'll just go to the mechanic. <laughs> who, who, who's the mechanic, a man? I understand some of these videos. The reason why men can't date me, they say, I can't be with you because of your history and your past. We all oh, you mean you're a whore? We all have a past and we all have a history. The only difference no, 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 no. Women who are loose have a past and have a history. This, I filmed mine. Mine's on camera. Does that make me not dateable? A hundred percent. Yes. Don't want our future kids. Yes. Don't want our neighbors. No one wants a, 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 a porn star as a mother. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, look at these two. I mean, Steph looks more feminine than the bitch. I mean, look, look at the face. Look, look at this face over here. I mean, it, it, I'm not even kidding here. I understand this is a woman. I understand that she's not trans. But look at the face. It looks more masculine than Steph over here. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm fucking wrong. You can't. You can't tell me. Now, obviously, Steph's a man because I've met him many times. And whoever this broad is, is she looks like she's a woman that can put in work. I mean, hell, I, I think I'd rather see Steph in a UFC ring than this bridge. You got that Michelle Obama vibe going. Who's your favorite student? I love all my students equally. I have no favorite. Is that a lie? No. <laughs> Obviously, you love someone a little bit more than someone else. Let me, let's see this one more time. Who's your favorite student? I love all my students equally. I have no favorite. Is that a lie? No. Wow. Wow. My only question is, where the fuck were teachers like this when I was going to school? God damn. Your man is probably in my fucking DMs, and I could have had him as a body literally last week if i wanted to <laughs> your man is probably in my fucking dms and i could have had him as a body literally last week if i want You know, one thing in life is when people are really confident, it usually says a lot about them. What the fuck is this? Yo, David, try to get this bitch on a stream, man. I want to talk to her. I want to know. I want to know what makes her so fucking confident. God damn. That's a trans. Oh, my God. That's a trans. Yeah, fuck, I'll pay her to get her on, man. Fucking contact this fucking nasty-ass fucking swine. Oh, my God. Fucking nasty. She kind of does look like that motherfucker. Wow, you nasty-ass bitch. You definitely want... See, this is more... I would rather talk to her on a stream than some fucking dime piece. I want to know what the fuck this bitch thinks about herself. My God. My fucking God, you nasty fucking bitch. Okay, right, fuck them too. All the girls that are being 20 right now and absolute whores in the club, whatever not, in 10 years are going to be 30, trying to settle down, you realize that all the good guys are taken. They're going to complain that they were ran through their whole life, but while they were partying for the past 10 years, all the good girls got cuffed by the good guys. And so now when they look at all the men that are options, they're going to be competing with the now 20-year-old good girls and be stuck. Why? Because all the good guys are gone. You missed your chance being a fucking whore, bitch. Bra fucking vo. Bra fucking vo, man.
I'm gonna listen to her one more time, man. She's fucking spitting bars. All the girls that are being 20 right now and absolute whores in the club, whatever not, in 10 years are gonna be 30, trying to settle down, you realize that all the good guys are taken. They're gonna complain that they were ran through their whole life, but while they were partying for the past 10 years, all the good girls got cuffed by the good guys. And so now, when they look at all Cuff the men that are options, they're gonna be competing with the now 20 year old good girls and be stuck. Why? Because all the good guys are gone. You missed your chance being a fucking, fucking whore, whore you bitch. Your last breakup, was it your fault or theirs? Theirs, because they were boring me. They were boring you? Yeah. What made them boring? You know when they're just like really nice all the time and they just do whatever you want? So like a yes man? Yeah. You guys listen to this? I told you women don't like this. Women, psychologically, they will try to push your buttons. And if they feel like they can step over you, subconsciously they're going to be gonna be like, wait a second, this guy can't defend me. I need to move on. I'm telling you, man, these are fucked up creatures, man. Their psychology is all fucking out of whack. But that's the, the way they are. Yeah, I don't like that. Was he supportive? Yeah. And he was there for you? Yeah. Was he loyal? Yeah. Is that what matters? Yeah, but I don't want to be bored in a relationship. I don't want to be bored. See, at, at, at the end of the day, 70% of these women are pretty much like kids. They just don't want to be bored. They just want to have fun. They want to play games. And they want to get piped down right. You don't be bored. I'm not fully into it. <laughs> so imagine dating a girl for two years, right? And it's all cool. And then she gets a job. I'm in the middle of school. She randomly texts me. She's like, a guy in a white charger just pulled up to the drive-thru because she worked at Whataburger. So she's in the drive-thru. And she said that he asked for her number. And she said she didn't give it to him. She just stared at him and gave him his food. So keep in mind, she told me no. She told me she just gave him his food and stared at him. So tell me why. I don't know what it was. God, God literally sent me some type of signal, bro, that said, check up on that. So I go to her Instagram. I go to her 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 recently followed. I click on the latest profile. In somebody's bio, I see a car name. I copy and paste, go to Google, and guess what type of car it was? A white charger. So imagine dating a girl for two <laughs> This motherfucker thinks he's MacGyver. What's logical? What the hell who get? The fuck? That's obviously like a I out of one to ten. I mean I would say like a two is pushing it with this. Alright, let's see what the point of this is. We had West Virginia. That's definitely a a woman in West Virginia. You a ugly motherfucker. But you know, maybe she's a good person inside, you know. All I know is I'm so happy when you're dancing there. The fuck? What the fuck? What the? Yo. Yo. What the fuck just happened there? Let me find this again. What's logical? What the hell? Who cares? All I know is I'm so happy when you're dancing there. Yo, I'm not going to believe anything on IG again. I don't believe any of you hoes look the way you look. This is all fucking garbage. My God. There's a coldness that you have to accept when you're a man. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides. That is true. A man is only loved under the condition he provides. But guess what, man? What, what other purpose do we have? This is what we're designed to do. We're designed to provide. So shut the fuck up. And do what you're supposed to do, motherfucker. There's a coldness. I'm just selling my nudes online because, number one, it's fun. It gives me a great lifestyle. It's so fun. You're going to be depressed in, even if you aren't depressed. Let's just say you're one of the minority. By the way, this kid's awesome, man. Who aren't depressed after they do this certain thing. Okay. Your kids will definitely be depressed. And, and how just, do you don't know my kids? What I'm saying, like you're just pulling all of this out of thin air to appease. No, no, no. Um, when kids grow up and they find out their mom is a whore, yeah, that's gonna have repercussions, major. 
psychological repercussions. But you don't care. You're just having fun. You think an audience you think of will be loser awesome incels who have like no, they just want to shit on pretty yeah, women because they're we're intimidated we're, by we're, them. Oh, they want to shit on pretty women because, listen, only simps are intimidated by pretty women and those aren't actually men. So try again, bitch. You said that uh, he capitalizes and makes money and makes a living off of uh, sad, like lonely, incel men, right? What, what do you, who do you think you are? What do you think you do for a living? I provide. What, what do you? Who do you? What is this? Content. I'm a content creator. You, you <laughs> content creator. You're a whore. I think you're appealing to anybody who can do anything. I appeal to anyone who wants no. to jerk off. To I guess you're fake. Anyone who wants to jerk off. What a fucking disgusting piece of fucking garbage. Who do you think those people are? My Obviously, fans. yeah, a bunch of incels. I, I, you have to understand what she do. She's like a drug dealer. She is no different than a drug dealer. And this drug dealer is selling lust. And the fucking victims are these beta ass males. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Men with no hose. Where are you? So the men with hose are up here uh, receiving all of the attention from. This is true because this is why 87% of men ha uh, women have babies and only 60% of men have babies. So obviously the same women, a whole bunch of them are sleeping with the same men. Come on. Um, the hose, including you. <laughs> I love how he said including you. The hose are down here trying to contact you on Bumble and not receiving an answer. Hope that helps. Men with. <laughs> that guy is probably one of them. What the fuck? Look at this bitch's eyes. She's out of her fucking mind. Oh my god. I don't care anymore. Quit hitting me. I've lost my mind. Quit hitting me. Oh, no, 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 no. We could tell that, bitch. Oh my god. She's just keying this dude's car. Where's the accountability? Where, where is. The, why isn't this bitch locked up? Look, look at her oh, eyes. You don't need look at her eyes. She's out of her fucking mind. My, see, this is this is that look in women's eyes when they don't give a fuck anymore. Oh my god. That's cool. I got video proof of you doing this. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. And she'll be the first one to go to the cops and say she was fucking beat or the man did something wrong. Look what she's doing. Until people make examples out of women like this. <sighs> Let me leave. You have me blocked in. Let me leave. You're kidnapping me. Let me leave. Oh, my. Would you ever marry a McDonald's worker? Probably not. There's no probably. Absolutely. Well, at this point in my life. No, no. no. At there any you point, you'd be like, go back to your fries. But <laughs> us, if we had a cute, sweet girl. Cirque is a three. He's a funny dude, man. Three wave pass are really funny. That's loyal. And she worked at McDonald's. I said, bring some nuggets, babe. Okay. Um, I... I would not want a woman who was working at McDonald's. Okay, let, let's let's cut the bullshit. Fuck is this? My husband just got home from the grocery store. He took both boys. They're one and two. Three people stopped him to tell him what a great dad he was for taking them to the store. Do you know how many times I've taken both of my kids? Who pays for the bills? Who was who, who actually putting a house over your head? Who's feeding the kids? Shut the fuck up. How old are you? 31. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. And how long ago were you married? <laughs> Failed psychiatrist. <laughs> if he got divorced. Up until three years ago. I mean, don't you guys think that's fraudulent if someone's a psychiatrist? And he got divorced himself, and he's over there trying to do couples therapy. Isn't that kind of fraudulent? Hello. Okay. Great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer, and that changed him, and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. Whoa. Whoa. My husband just got home from the grocery store. He took both boys. They're one and two. 
husband just got home. Hold the fuck up. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. And how long? Your ex-husband's a doctor and a psychiatrist. Wow. Were you married? Up until three years ago. She was married up until three years ago. Why did you get divorced? Okay. Great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer and that changed him. Her husband, who was providing a good lifestyle as a doctor, got sick and she fucking bailed. I hope you fucking die, you fucking bitch. Karma's gonna get you, you fucking nasty bitch. And it changed the dynamics of our marriage. Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And who filed for divorce? I did. Oh, what a shock. What a shock. A man provides for you, has a good living as a doctor, and then all of a sudden he gets sick and the bitch filed for divorce. She's out. Disgusting. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. So for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53-year-old. And he took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You um, she did not have to work. She got taken care of most of her adult life. And as soon as the man gets sick, she's out. Men, men. But let's flip the script for a second. This man was 53 years old. He married the 18-year-old. Obviously, they, she didn't marry for love. So the man has to take some responsibility, too. And that's just that. What's the craziest thing you got the ick for? I don't like to see happiness sometimes. I don't know. I just saw a man like smile. You know, she's an airhead. <laughs> like, you know, after a party when you're popping balloons and like. Popping balloons. Oh, she's doing whippets. You can tell she's an airhead. He was popping the balloon and he was like playing with it before he popped it. And I looked over and I was just like, mmm, all the second. I can't do any more, dumb bitch. What's this? <laughs> hold on, hold on. She's thinking about it. No, she took it out. Not doing it. <laughs> do you ever get dressed and just be like, oh shit? David, get this bitch on too. Let's get both those fucking hoes on. Damn, I look good. Damn, you look good. And she's wearing a white dress, too. You could at least wear a black dress and make it seem like you're a fucking little less. You know, I'm overweight. No doubt about it, man. I'm overweight. There's no doubt. But what the fuck is this? I mean, come on. How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? I think 10 times their salary. Yeah, it has to be in like the six digits for sure. Six digits? I'll get you a fucking ring out of a Cracker Jack box. Sure. How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? I'd say at least like 100K. 100K? Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Pesos? Russian rubles? You ain't talking about dollar bills. Because I ain't giving no fucking 100K fucking Benjamin Franklin's for no guy is for your dumb ass. Yeah. Huh? How much do you think a guy should spend on... What made you cheat? What was the feeling that made you cheat? Always cheat before they cheat. <laughs> Whore. I was just bored. How many times did you hear that? The woman was bored because they have a mentality of a child. Most of these women have a mentality of a child. They get bored. They're going to cheat. Do you feel bad when you did it? Did you feel bad or no? Be honest. No. No. Just like when a kid does something wrong, you think he feels bad about it? Nope. Get the rocks, Abdullah. Never. Yeah, yeah. I have. I have. What did you do? What What happened? No, it wasn't even that bad. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. I just ended up sucking his dick. It wasn't that bad. Nothing you get to see here. I didn't, I didn't know they were best friends. Until oh, she didn't know they were best friends. Nothing too bad. He just slipped it in her. What made you cheat? What was the feeling that made you cheat? 
When you are twerking, when you're shimmying, you are literally releasing trauma, releasing stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor, you're connecting to earth, you're connecting to the womb, you're restoring your energy. (laughs) As I was doing this, I was healing myself. (laughs) She's healing herself. (laughs) Through all of these generations of collective trauma, I realized that twerking truly is a spiritual practice. A spiritual practice. Twerking is a spiritual practice. You hear this fucking bitch? When you are twerking, when you're shimmying. She's right there, she has a nose ring. You know she's fucked up in the head already. You are literally releasing trauma, releasing stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor, you're connecting. Yeah, she's definitely used to bending her knees, all right. To earth, you're connecting to the womb, you're restoring your energy. As I was doing this, I was healing myself through all of these general women will justify any bullshit. That's all this shit is right here. She is justifying anything. You th- this bitch has an IQ of fucking 80. She is independent and she pays her own bills and she takes care of her. Is she getting her money on OnlyFans? herself <laughs> she's an average adult like what you expected to be patted on the back and applauded and be given awards because you're doing average adult things she's not some bad b she's she's an adult she is independent and she pays her own bills and she takes care of herself women in this generation can drink like their fathers but not cook like their mothers <laughs> amen to that think about that for a second well actually um my wife doesn't really drink and she does cook so again speak for yourself simps i'm on a girl's trip and my husband calls me every hour uh yeah i let the dogs out that's good baby yeah uh had to leave peed and pooped oh that's good baby talk to you in a little bit okay love you okay bye baby love you bye baby love you this condescending fucking bitch times again hey i'm ordering dinner that's good baby every time I just keep amping him that's good baby she's talking about her husband she's fucking just embarrassing her husband and she doesn't care she doesn't care my god where do these type of females come from? This is despicable. Look at this wannabe pimp. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. So don't let No, 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 of course not. So if he's a good guy and he's providing for you, if he's actually putting food in your tummy, if he's putting a roof over your head, he's doing everything, not cheating on you. It's okay, leave the motherfucker. Guilt, get the best of you. <laughs> God damn it. Age range of your ideal man. 27 to 29. What is the race of your ideal man? Any color. Minimum height. Six, five. Minimum income he needs to make. 100K. Probability of you finding your ideal man is 0%. Age range of your... <laughs> Zero percent. I guess that's that for this channel. And now let's move to the main course. Dylan over here has been talking about a certain woman. This woman is engaged to Logan Paul. And I said to a friend of Logan Paul's I gave a reading to in early July that this woman was going to take Logan's bag. Apparently, he told Logan, and Logan blocked me on Twitter. From that day, I said he was my number one target. And oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dylan, he's helping me manifest this. This bitch has literally been with everybody. Oh, my God. She's been passed around more than the basketball in the NBA Finals. This, I mean, this is disgusting. Every single, she's been with George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman, for God's sake. And and Logan, Logan's a piece of garbage. Because other than, you know, here's the thing about uh, some people born in pig years. They don't even give a fuck if they're girls or hoes. 
as long as the pussy is tight and they fuck like fucking monsters, that's all they care about. They're that pussy whipped. They don't even give a fuck if they have a body count. And obviously, this bitch got every body count there is. I mean, look at this shit, dude. She's literally with every fucking dude. I mean, you talk about the choo-choo train, man. God damn. So let's go down this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This 95 fucking swine. He don't care. He don't care how many fucking people she been with. He does not care. But what does he do? Instead of fucking getting rid of this fucking bitch who's going to take his bag. And she will take your bag, you motherfucker. I promise you. He gets mad at Fresh and Fit, calls up YouTube, and gets him demonetized. Somehow he got Dylan suspended for 12 hours too. This guy is actually spending money at his operatives in YouTube and Twitter to shut people down. Why? Because he doesn't like them talking about the fact that his future wife... The woman he's engaged to is a whore. That, that, that's what, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want people to talk. He doesn't care that she actually is one. Wow. <laughs> because of the engagement, you agreed to come on. That's a half a million dollar stone. Does she have a uh, hell yeah? She got a smile on your face. She worked this motherfucker off for a half a million dollar stone. She's been fucking opening her legs for half of Hollywood, and this fucking sip gave her half a million dollar rock. I saw how big it was, and I was like, he didn't. Yeah, really she good. ain't talking about what's between his pants. She's talking about the size of that fucking ring. Good, now let's make out. <laughs> <laughs> Went to go get my skydiving license. She just wasn't cool with it. That's yeah. not what I signed up for. Yeah. Like, you're a wrestler and you're an action figure. A boxer. <laughs> you not having sex with me for the duration of time that you did. She's having sex with everyone else, but she's not having sex with him. <laughs> it was very important. Didn't stop her from being the Nordic vortex. But <laughs> no, listen, listen, okay, listen. Were you at all worried about her reaction to filming such an intimate moment? I wanted the low gang to get their piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> Excited about it. I, I think there's a lot of stuff people don't know about you. Well, that's that's why. Oh, I think a lot of people know a lot about you. That's the problem. I'm nervous. The amount of meat on this bone. On your bone? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of meat on my bone. Okay, so where do you where do you go now? I mean, I can. I, how, how do you, do you start, envision this going down? I'm, yeah. I'm more than prepared to start firing questions. I mean, how I, do you? I want to see. Mike is actually his boyfriend. Okay. And Mike can only say so much because he's basically he might not be a woman, but he's definitely Logan's bitch. Provide a little bit of context yeah. for what's happening did here. Did you do the whole intro? I, I did while you guys were switching. Oh, okay. I told him to subscribe. I hit my CTAs, babe. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> um, look. She is in complete control. Look at her body language. She is in complete the control. Look at that. She's holding him like that's her fucking property. She is in complete control of this simp. We have been super intentional about being private while we were dating. <laughs> She's private with you. She sure is hell a private with everyone else. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Show us. <laughs> She's only private with you, dog. She ain't private with any fucking one else. Simp ass motherfucker. Mm. And I did that. Because I didn't want our relationship in any way to be about or affected by content, especially knowing because I've been a. <laughs> I think they would change all of that, did he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. She got some good deep throating skills there. Did you see that one, Logan? Did you see that one? Fucking veteran in this space for so long that when you put yourself out there online often, you are throwing yourselves to the wolves of the internet. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think she already did that, dude. Oh, my God. She's fucking taking every fucking dude there is. That's insane. This bitch has been fucking around. My God. And it can be a gnarly place. Yeah. And this is the first time 
because of the engagement, you've agreed okay, to call. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Like a giggly little kid. <laughs> you fucking moron. I'm on impulsive. I know. I needed that ring on my finger before going here. Ah, she needed that ring on her finger before she went on the show. <laughs> She's played this dude. Uh, it's here, so it's here. we're ready to go. It's, it's here. Oh my god! Look, look how she smiles at the ring. She's not smiling at this motherfucker. She is smiling at the ring. She, no matter what happens, she got a half a million dollar ring off this simp. While everyone else was running through her like a train, he had to wait. Uh, and it's gorgeous. Did you take a look at it? I'm okay, not. she's talking about the ring. Look at it. Look at she's paying no attention to the sip. She's just looking at the ring. Seen it? Okay. Yet. Do you want to take a look at it? Yeah. Can you just take it off your finger? I don't know about that. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> no, no, no. Because no. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep showing it. Look at that smile. She worked him over. She's saying, "I'm the fucking pimp here." Look at my pimp hand. It's, I, I'll be honest, Nina, I'm very fucking proud of this ring. It's gorgeous. Of course, he's not as proud as she is. Gorgeous. Is there a fly around? There was. It flew there off. There was. Okay. It's it, absolutely stunning and perfect, and you have outdone yourself. Like, this is everything I wanted and more. Everything she wanted. Everything she wanted. She's telling you. She's telling you. And so are you. Thanks, babe. I, I was, I, <laughs> how much did it cost? Oh. It's in, I, it doesn't have to be a ballpark. It could just be de the exact number. I'm not going to say. No, you can say six digits. Uh-oh. Uh oh You see that? You see that? I'm not going to say. Oh, you can say six digits. This is what this bitch. Remember, let's go back where the uh, women were talking about she needed an engagement ring. Let's go back over here. Where was this? Let's go back. Let's go back where those women were talking about they needed engagement rings for a certain amount. Where was that? Where was that? Oh, there we go. There we go. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Where were they talking about engagement rings? I think this is one. Is there too much? Would you say for body count? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, they're not interested in that. What's that? I think. The Do we need men? Communication is verbal. That's a teacher. Oh my god! Who's better at self improve When a guy. Regardless, before we basically showed how women said we need a six-figure ring. And look at her. She said, I need a six figure. It was six figures. Wow. How does this motherfucker not know he's being played? But yet he fucking has uh, his people on YouTube demonetize Fresh and Fit for calling it out. Wow. Well, that isn't indicative of how oh. much it costs. <laughs> I, I was debating on telling Nina, right? Like, like do you tell your fiance how much? I don't much think so. That's kind of weird. That's what I thought, yeah. too. But I tell her everything. Yeah, and I, simp. I know, and I know she wanted to know, even though she wouldn't have asked me. I know she wanted to know. I held off. I held off for I a know. little. And bit. then one day, I oh, the gold digger held off for asking him how much he spent. I was, I was, I was filtering through, filtering through the GIA report, which is like, do you know what that is? I do. Yeah, it's a diamond rating system. Essentially, that's what yeah. it is. And there's a the intricacies of buying a ring. VVS, this type, that type. It's How is it cut? Everything. What color stone color. is it? Where is it from? Yep. Oh, you know yeah. it all. I we used to have to buy certain things with drug proceeds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say the specs of it. You could estimate the price. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's an E color. E color. Emerald cut. Yep. Six point two three three carats. Yep. VVS, VVS two. Yep. VVS two. Hell, that's that's pretty that's, much that's about yeah. It. And then you got the bullet cuts that the you decided cut, yourself. You something. made it your own, which I really appreciate. But I was so surprised, and I told you this, that when I opened the box to give you the ring, mm -hmm. you kind of just glanced at it. You didn't even like look at the ring that much, and and you more fixated on me, which I was told. Yeah, I she, you mean she was playing you? She was manipulating you, <laughs> dumb motherfucker.
actually by your sister, Abby, and like my mom and the girls in general, they're, they're like, when she sees the ring, she's going to black out. But when I did it, she just, she just looked at it and we started hugging. And it was such, in that moment, I was like, you know, this is why this is the girl I'm marrying. Cause like, <laughs> shut your fucking ass up, dude. You know damn well you fucking went on your fucking ankles and held your ankles for someone at Disney to become the fucking star you are. Shut the fuck up. This moment, even though it is about this object right here, is just us. Yeah. It's just us right now. Man, it wouldn't work without the ring. I, I had to tell her. I was like, look, look at this. <laughs> like, do you like it? Yeah. Is, this, is this what you wanted? I wanted to just take it all in. Like, I kept telling myself, like, just be present and, like, do the mental photographs and like, you know, just really memorize what's happening because I knew it was only going to happen once in my life and it was so. <laughs> only once in your life, huh? Only once in your life, huh? Only once in your life, huh? <laughs> Shout out to Dylan. So important for me to remember this because I don't remember jack shit. <laughs> So I had to focus. Me either. I don't and I get anything. the rest of my life to look at this ring. So I wasn't really concerned. I saw how big it was. And I was like, he did really good. Now yeah, again, she ain't talking about his size. She's talking about the ring size. Right, let me tell you something. Um, this guy is going to be around for a while. That ring is going to be with her for fucking life. You best believe that. She's married to that fucking ring now. Not fucking Logan Paul. Um, let's make out. <laughs> and, and by the way, we all saw the moment, an incredible moment. I don't know if you... Man, shut your gay ass up. Only reason this guy's famous is because he's Logan Paul's bitch and he fucking was fucking a porn star. You disgusting human being. Know this or not, but it has been responsible for many uh, single, uh, long-awaiting engagement women uh, in the world crying their eyes out <laughs> this week, watching this wonderful moment. Was there ever uh, uh, any kind of giveaway was there ever any kind of moment where you thought this was going to happen i mean look at this fucking fat ass cheerleader over here man this guy needs to get sm fucking smacked as a matter of fact you go after mike you might get more offended than if you go after his four walk me through this uh you know beautiful italian proposal and everything that it was i mean i i knew it was happening okay uh, <laughs> this is, there's some there's there's some back and forth here i told you this girl Knows everything. Oh, I know. She's just very aware. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, she's aware. She definitely's aware of something. Witch. Yeah. I'm a witch. <laughs> I, 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 she's a witch. Yeah, she definitely is that. A little witchy. <laughs> okay, but tell Sometimes me. Sometimes bitchy. <laughs> Mostly witchy. You, she does see the future, and it's insane. But tell me, you texted your friends. She sees the future. Did she see all this? Did she see all these pictures coming out? Did she see all this? Did she? Did your witch see all this? Nah, she, She's just a hoe that's playing you, dude. There's a couple of things about the trip to Italy that made me think that it was going to happen. The first thing was Jeff fucking up on speaker on his phone, mentioning which turned out it didn't really have much to do with my actual ring, but I heard it. Um, I love you, Jeff. <laughs> there was the fact that he told his dad he was going to meet my dad, but not that he was seeing my mom. I was like, oh, he probably told his dad about the fact that he's going to ask my dad for the permission to marry me. Is her voice hurting anyone else's ears? I'm getting a fucking headache from fucking listening to this bitch. I wonder, like, if you fucking, you know, absorb too much cum in your mouth. Is that the fucking side effect? I, I need to move this forward. No point There's always going to be a point in your relationship a point. Where, you, nice. <laughs> where, you, where your girlfriend gets in a fight with your best friend. And we had it in Qatar outside the World Cup. <laughs> and Nina pointed in Mike's face. Mike says, get your finger out of my face. <laughs> then I put my finger in his face and I said, do not talk to her like that. Now my finger's in your face. What are you going to do about it? Now you got two <laughs> fingers in your face. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So this bitch over here is claiming authority over this one because this is, you know, this is his boyfriend and this is his girlfriend, soon to be whore wife. But this guy you know, knows that his place is now beneath this bitch. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Good job, buddy. What are you going to do? It backfires on me. I didn't like the one, then I do. I was like, shit. No, and then you started pointing too. That's what makes sense. You can't, I, I did say to her, I did say to her after though, although yeah. I completely think she was in the right in that scenario. Of course. He completely thinks his girlfriend is in the right. Of course he does. <laughs> Who knows where we're going to net out.
overall us versus you in that situation. <laughs> but I did say to her, I said, do be careful who you're pointing at closely in the face because that can rub a lot of people, especially yeah. men, the wrong way. If you notice, whenever I do interviews and podcasts, I point all the time. I learned from it. I learned from it. You know, it's just a lot. Like, no, you know, hey, did you notice how she was rubbing her nose? I learned from it. I learned from it. Yeah, sure you did, bitch. One of the signs people is lying, they go like this all the time when they're saying something. And that's come, why. Come and, on, and bro. By, someone puts their finger well, in your and face. And by the like, way, that's all. I, that's all I'd said. I didn't say like you're wrong in in oh saying. Oh my that. god! Look at look how defensive. When someone has their hands up like this, they're all defensive. Like, oh no, I'm sorry, Mister. I'm sorry, Mister. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. Or you're wrong in substance. I just I just didn't appreciate. But all I was. wanted was an apology, which I also think was a completely fair thing to ask for at that point in time. Apologize, bitch. It, there was a lot of context. It was it was a it was a messy situation with <laughs> with, with messy. Yeah, it was with, with messy, messy literally. with messy and messy with messy. Yeah, it was it was it was just a lot going on with security and and process and and. Do you I, want me to explain it? No, I don't. I don't know if we should go into okay, it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, no, it was a mess, it was it was a messy <laughs> situation. And, and, and by the way, it also kind of thrashed the game too for at least for Nina, which sucked because she spent the rest of the time kind of in an upset mood. Yeah. as a result of I know. it. So. It's if Logan said shut the fuck up and apologize, he'd apologize because his paycheck is dependent on Logan Paul. Sucked. Yep. Whatever. Um, okay, back on back on the topic. Uh, going into a relationship with someone who has had, uh, and, and and by the way, like continues to have these type of scenarios play up, whether. Uh, 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 res um, deservingly, sorry, or not, is that something that you took into consideration in your decision to be with him, knowing that this could, you know, pop off. This could pop off at any moment. This perfect relationship, this house, all this beautiful white picket fence, this Americana could at any time be burned to the ground. We live in by Puerto Rico. A, well, it's an American. There's no white fence. Um, did, did it play any role? No. Maybe earlier in the relationship. Um, no, it did not. As soon as I sat down with him and we started talking, it was like I've known him for years. And like, <laughs> you know, I think. You sure that was him you known? You sure about that? Because, you know, an awful lot of guys have been through you. I think it was more of a learning curve throughout the relationship where it was like, okay, I'm dating someone who obviously is in the limelight and that has controversies. Yeah, that's ex and he has a lot of money. How come you didn't add that part? He has a lot of money. He has a big bag. And that's why this bitch born on the 26th is after it. This is an Aries woman. The number one uh, Western astrology sign for gold diggers is Aries. She's born on the 26th. She wants that bag. That's what Logan's for. He's there for the fucking bag. This dumb fuck is too dumb to understand it. Isn't that keeps pushing the envelope and that keeps doing him unapologetically. That, that word is so hard to say. Um, but she has a hard time apologizing. What a shock. Yet she was just going like this. Mike, you owe me at the apology. But I think for me as a partner, the most important thing I could do was to just be supportive and like, I believe in him. So like it never, I know we're going to through, go through ups and downs, like any relationship. And she, as soon as and it's a down, she's really gone. Big ups and really big downs. And, and we have, and there were moments that to me during the downs solidified that this is the person I'm going to be with for the rest of my life, you know? She basically is a want, good fuck. Do you want to get into it? She's a good fuck. I'll, I'll just definitely say there was a she, moment. She's a good fuck. That she has a lot of experience. She's been fucking around. She knows exactly how to please a man in the bedroom. And that's what it comes down to. I promise you that is why Logan Paul is with, with this bitch. Because she's a good fuck. When it was the darkest moment of my life. I've never been suicidal. I'll never die by my, by my own hand. But I was having really dark thoughts. Imagine having hundreds of millions of dollars and you're having dark thoughts. Fucking pathetic, man. I've talked a lot of shit about the Tates, but I take the Tate brothers over the fucking Logan. And I think Jake's a stand-up guy. Fucking disgusting people, man. You insolent fucking swine.
And as a visualizer, as a director, as a person who can very clearly see things before they exist. How come you can't see she's going to take your bag? It's why I like directing videos. It's why I like telling the stories I tell. I was seeing some really nice. <laughs> he said Danish Hoover. Underwear. It was like, did they make bras? What they want to they put did. in the fucking- No, they wanted to put the cutlets in because it, it photographs Oh, the chicken cutlets. Better. Yeah. So when I didn't need them, because I had- I throw those things little... at the windows I used to back in the day, stick. Yeah. You just oh, hold. Yeah. What can I do? And mm -hmm. and uh, if she's having a bad day, I, I, I make sure to, to give her that space. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. Just looking at Dylan's page over here. It's just non-stop pictures of his girl. Non-stop pictures. I guess this is a little bit. Hold on, let me keep going up. Non-stop pictures of this girl with other guys and sometimes somewhat compromising positions. I mean, what, what the fuck is this, dude? What the fuck is this, man? If this isn't a sexual innuendo, I don't know what the fuck is. You know, she's the biggest winner in all of this, man. She's a fucking whore who's been fucking passed around like a fucking used car. And she got the what, a big bag from a big superstar. I mean, you got to hand it off to her. Could you imagine her side in this? I mean, she's literally been ran through like a train and she still managed to secure one of the top people in Hollywood. I mean, listen, for a hoe, bro, I fucking vote. And I hope you take every single dime you can from this piece of garbage because Logan Paul is not a good person. You can see by the way he treats his brother. He is not a good person. He is a piece of fucking trash and everything that's supposed to happen to him will. And by the way, Logan... When I told your friend, and I'll keep his name nameless, when I talked to your friend and I said she's going to take your bag, I 100% meant it. She's going to play you. Sherry got you for a half a million dollar ring. She is going to take your fucking bag and she's going to laugh because you are one of the biggest fucking fools in the world. You have everything going for you. You can pretty much have any woman you want. And instead of buying a brand new car, one that you can dig in yourself, you buy a fucking car with high mileage, where the seats are fucking worn out, where the steering wheel is all fucking sticky. The fuck is wrong with you, dude? Bitch ass motherfucker. And, you know, she let her do process whatever she needs to process, but also be. It's going to look like Johnny. We like, should name uh, her Johnny. I, I'm <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, she's going to be a, the a cutest little girl ever. She's going to melt me. I will no longer be human. You're I'll already be melting with Joe. No, no, no. She is going to divorce you, take that child, and fucking uh, make you pay a child support. So after she takes your half your bag, you're still going to be paying child support. And then if she feels. Like, she's in a good mood. Maybe someone fucks her right. Her future boyfriends. Maybe she'll let you see your kid. <laughs> Dumb fuck. Oh, we rescued a dog. We rescued, that? Dude, we rescued a dog on the side of a road in Puerto Rico. Yep, yep. We drove past this little dog. She's cute. And, and oh, she was way crazy, too close to the road. Ears. Yeah, and we, we were like, we both like, that was kind of like a cute dog. Why is it that close? To, like, that dog's going to get run over. She would do, we're not doing anything. Let's yeah. push it off the road. Yep. And we... Turn, do you turn, get out of the car, and this little fuck cutie runs right up to Nina, and it was the first stray. Listen, uh, when Kanye married Kim, I said Kim would fucking take his bag. She did. They got divorced in 219, 220, around the area I said they would. Uh, she's going to take his bag by 2025. This motherfucker here is born in the year of the pig. She is going to take his bag in his enemy year, the year of the snake. Watch. Watch how this happens. And by the way, by the way, she no doubt she's a whore. No doubt she's fucking been ran into. But he knows all this. He knows all this because I've told him. A lot of other people have told him. And all you have to do is turn on Twitter and you'll see it yourself.
He does not care. So he's going to have to suffer the consequences. And, and don't feel sorry for him when it happens. I, I urge people, do not feel sorry for fucking swines like this when it happens. Because he doesn't care. The only God he has is lust. I'm telling you right now, I've dealt with pigs the whole life. If he's this faithful to a whore, she must be the best fuck he ever had. Because that's what he values. It is what it is. Let's go here a little bit. Me on a scale of one to ten. Negative one. Why? I don't know. I feel like I've seen copycats of you every single place I go. Really? You call her yeah, NPC. So am I ugly? Um, no, but you're unoriginal. I'm unoriginal? Yeah. Let's say you, you had a man and you said, hey, when you go to escape, I would like you to dress modestly. What would you say to that? Sorry, honey, we're breaking up. Wow. So if a man tells you to cover up, you're going to break up with him. Can't, can't tell him no. They, they got to keep them legs open. Same. No man is ever going to tell me what to do. Y yes, actually a man will tell you what to do if you're fucking lucky and you're fucking smart enough to submit to a man who takes care of your former hoe ass. If not, you're going to end up 40 years old with a fucking cat thinking, wow, I got bamboozled by the system. Do how to dress, how to talk, nothing. Excuse me? Hey, you're beautiful. Thanks. Nice What's your name? Tina. Hey, is it okay if I like grab your number? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Tina, you said okay. Yeah, I'll put it in. You're so beautiful. Can I, can I, I take... Fucking simp. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Shut the fuck up, dude. You, you gotta be a little bit more original than that, man. Stop saying, oh, you're so beautiful. Wow. Uh, you know, go to a woman and be like, wow, you're extremely attractive. I wonder if you have the personality to match it. You know, say something at least original. Like, what the fuck? Hey, can I take you on a date sometime? Um, I have a boyfriend. Oh. And we're kind of breaking up. But you have a boyfriend, but we're kind of breaking up. Wow, she must smell money on this dude. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac, what do you rate me out of 10? I'm happily married. So I would not rate you. So. Okay, so if you had to rate me, if you didn't have a wife, come on. I have you a one. <laughs> it's a little desperate, that's why. So. The most important person in my life is my wife. So she's number one. Good man. Good man. What's your biggest flex? I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but fun. like, like, I'm really pretty. <gasps> a lot of people. She's really pretty. Okay. I said women don't mm -hmm. like dudes who got their own, who don't need them. Do they rather deal with men mm -hmm. who are not that intellectually aggressive, mm -hmm. who gonna let them say what they want right. and do what they want. Mm -hmm. They rather deal with a man. If you call your ex right now and she answers, I'll give you 20 bucks. He's not calling his ex. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, it's like an easy 20 bucks. No, I don't care. Easiest 20 bucks you ever made in your life. Can I call my ex? Sure. Wait, what do I have to call my ex? Wait, so he can't call his ex, but you can call your ex? Oh. Yes, the answer? Yeah. Okay, well, I got it. So he can't call his ex, but she can call her ex. Yeah, I wonder who's fucking running shit in that relationship. His number still? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The answer? Mm-hmm. Hello? Oh, he answered. Here's, just, here's the 20. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> well, okay. What's your body count? If body count doesn't matter, what's your body count? You to... Yeah, just say it. You know, uh, women, if you ever want to get in GG33, you have to, you know, pass the academy. And then if you ever want to get into bronze, silver, or gold, I will ask you what your body count is. You best not lie. Straight up. Be straight up. You said you were on this before, right? Yeah. Do you want I us to start? Do you want no, us to no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, I mean, I feel like, are you guys also going to say yours? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say mine. 
Why are you asking the question? You shouldn't ask the question if you're not going to answer it. Well, I think body count matters. Why? Which is... I'll get into that, but first, let's have you guys answer this question. I thought you were brutally honest. I'm, I'm, I am brutally honest, but like at the same time, like this is being like. She's shamed. She's shamed. She is shamed because she knows she's a whore. You know, arid vibe. What's your body count? He had me wait an hour and a half. So it's for my kid. Real kid. Yeah, you owe me that. And then with your daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real short, real quick though. I just want to give a little message to everybody on their grind. I love doing this because, you feel me, I needed these messages too when I was coming up and doing my grind and shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, listen, stay focused, bro. Keep grinding. It when men make more money, they tend to look, okay, I can raise a family for, for my kids. When women make more money, they say, fuck this, I don't need a man. There's there's a big <laughs> difference when the gen- My Renee, you all ain't here. And when certain when uh, men make money versus when women make money, women make money to say I'm independent. When men make more money, they tend to look. Yeah, well, got demonetized. I told Fresh and Fit they get demonetized sooner or later. Dumbasses. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me like. You know, this woman right here. She actually makes Steph Curry have a camera on in his hotel rooms when he plays road games so she can turn that camera on and he better be in bed. He better be in bed with that camera or she's going to divorce his ass and take half his shit. And you have to understand, she's not even that pretty of a woman. She really isn't. And the way she disrespects Steph... I don't know why he puts up with it. And, and I know you, Steph. I mean, come on, dude. Whatever. Continue your best man. You're going to lose your best hitter. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and I went home with him and I slept with him. Shocking. A hoe being a hoe. Yeah, I know what happened. Hmm, interesting. What? How do you know? Yeah, we planned this all out. <laughs> Well, Brian bet me a 50 bucks and a pack of cigarettes. What? That he could sleep with you. So now I'm down 50 bucks and a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Probably some cheap cigarettes, too. How could, you hear this? How could you do this to me? She thought she was cheating on him, and now she's like, how could you do this to me? See how they are? This is their twisted logic. What are you going to learn how to cook? It's not, in the, it's not in the cards for me. I'm not going to learn how to cook. I'm not going to learn how to clean. I am sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Are you a lesbian? Oh. <laughs> That's tough. I just... I'm hoping that, you know, my partner would do that for me. <laughs> yeah. Partner, definitely a lesbian. So you're gonna date I'm a, okay. I'm the norms don't have to be there. I'll be the breadwinner. So you're gonna date a girl. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's always like we didn't show love, we didn't do no hugging, we didn't yeah. do a whole lot of that thing. You you were supposed to be emotionless. Yeah. As a man, you're supposed to be tough. Yeah. You don't fear anything, you don't show emotion because showing emotion is a sign of weakness. And we are never supposed to be weak. Now that's how you know, that's how my grandfather raised, you know, so I, I'm raising men. Yeah. And men don't show weakness. Men don't cry. And men don't show up. You know, I don't. I can't remember if I ever heard my grandfather tell my grandmother that he loved me. Right, yeah. He didn't tell us he loved me. Right. He said, you got a roof over your head? Right. You got food on the table? Hell, I love you then. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to tell you that. You eat, right? Yeah. And so that was the approach. And then you kind of pass that down the line. Yeah. And then you realize, like, hold on. Nah, I don't really think, Papa. I don't really think. You know, you did some good things, but I think. So. Your uh, daddy raised you, and you became an NFL player. He instilled discipline in you, making sure you're not a beta male bitch. And now you're over here saying, I'm not sure that was the right thing to do. What a fucking disappointment. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Look at Steph Curry's wife. That's Steph Curry's wife, Felicia. Look at her trying to take that fucking ring off. Look at her. Again, she's married to one of the most successful basketball players, one of the most famous people in the world. Look how she's acting. We can't keep losing our legends like this, man. Three warning signs that you have low testosterone. Number one sign is that you have no more morning woods. If you don't have them anymore, that uh, that's not an issue when I'm 45. <laughs> that means your testosterone levels are not as high. If you're misplacing things, if it's hard for you to remember names, then it's a sign that your levels of... I haven't remembered names since my 20s. I remember people by their birthdays. Uh, try again testosterone are dropping if you've got itty little balls that's also a sign that i got fucking grapefruits i passed the test hallelujah Don't wake me, I'm not the fuck hold on let me see what's going on Wow, you know she's cheating. <coughs> wow. Yeah, and he knows she's cheating. He knows it. And he's still with her. Mr. Cooper. You are not oh. her father. You're not the father. Where's the accountability of this fucking woman who fucking sued this guy? Took him to court. Where's the accountability? Wow. You know I still love you. This is something you all gonna have to work through. <laughs> Listen to me, Ashley. Hold your head up. <laughs> Wow. 
So, uh, 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 wow. Did I just witness what I saw? Mr. So Mr. Cooper is this person and that's Mr. Cooper's mom consoling that fucking whore. So she accused him of being the father. She ended up cheating on him. The mother knows it. And what does this fucking whore do? Instead of going to her fucking father, excuse me, her son, and giving, consoling him and giving him a hug, this Cooper. fucking whore goes up to her? Man, fuck you, bitch. You are not oh. her father. Look at this. This is the man's mother. And she's going up to the woman, consoling her. Why? Because she's a whore just like this fucking woman. That's disgusting. Walk past your fucking son and console the fucking woman who tried to destroy his life. Man, fuck you. This is something you all gonna have to work through. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you bring to the table? Everything. I got two kids, you know what I mean? So everything. If you're willing to provide for my kids. If you're willing to provide for my kids. <laughs> it's just fucking disgusting. It's in everything. Everything like what? My kids, my life, my mental health, everything is like everything. Your mental health. <sighs> Next. That's the point. You don't have a big you don't have a big wallet. You a bit you a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing signals at five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand five, ten, and three hundred. Wow, making less than wow. Okay, Kevin. What is the age range of your ideal man? 28. 23 to 28? Yeah. The race of your ideal man? I don't have a type. Minimum height? A 5'6'3. And minimum income? Does it depend on what's on that fee? Six figures a year, I'm guessing? Yes, that's Six actually feet. perfect. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.075%. Oh, so I'm one of a kind. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And if you win, you get a kiss me. Are you ready? <laughs> no. You're good? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch this again. What is the age range of your... Okay, so... Now, you know this guy get no pussy. You know this guy gets no pussy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And if... I'm not watching UFC because I didn't put any money on the fights. That's why. You win, you get a kiss. Me. Are you ready? And I only give a fuck about watching sports when I gamble on it. You're good? Yeah. He's good, man. He's good, and so am I. How much money is in your bank accounts? Six thousand. A dollar and fifty cents. Do you guys have jobs? No. No. So where'd you get the six thousand then? My dad. Do you guys think money can buy happiness? Yes. Yes. Why? I'm happy. You got money? Yeah. You agree with her? <laughs> I agree. Why? Because if we're sad, we just go shopping. How much money is in your bank account? Right around sixty. Sixty K? Yeah. Where did you get all that money? I work. RVs. What do you what do you do there? Rubber roof. What's that? It's the roof of the RV. You just roll the glue, pull the rubber, and do an awning rail, which is like a gutter. Do you think money can buy happiness? No. Why not? I mean I have money and nothing will make me more happy than like my friend group or you know there's other things the difference between men and women more examples okay i'm going straight to her photos i know she has thousands i actually uh <laughs> did a reading for her <laughs> she told me all about what happened man when i was in vegas i did a reading for her she told me everything, man. I, 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 if I could get her on a podcast to do it, I will. Okay, I'm going straight to her photos. I know she has thousands. 14,000 photos. Oh, I found her ex and I'm kissing. Oh, God. Why do you still have all these photos? Oh, my gosh. Him in his underwear. <laughs> Imagine you're the new boyfriend and you see the old boyfriend's pictures on her IG. Sip! Oh, I found the pictures of them in bed together. Does she talk about her ex a lot? Uh, no, not at all, actually. Did you love him? What'd she say? So, uh, why do you keep all those photos of your ex? A lot of them are just good memories that I really just don't want to delete, to be honest. Why do you care? I don't know. Simp! Simp! Hey, I talked to your dad. He said you're a loser and you got sugar intake, Joe. 
What's your craziest confession? My mom was in the room right next to me, right? Okay. And there was five dudes at my house, okay? Okay. All of them trained. Jesus. You Jesus fucking Christ. You nasty fucking. Oh my God. What the fuck did this bitch just say? What's your craziest confession? My mom was in the room right next to me, right? Okay. And there was five dudes at my house, okay? Okay. All of them trained. Jesus Christ. Five. Yeah, my mom didn't care. Yeah. Your mom didn't care? Oh, fucking whores having whores. This is disgusting. This woman should be fucking stoned. Fucking Allah Akbar. What the fuck? She yeah. knows you want to get with her, but yeah. you ain't her type. So yeah. yeah, she's stringing your ass along. You're making her feel better about herself. Yeah, while she's draining the fucking life out of you. Selfish ass bitch. She yeah. knows you want to get with her. You, you, are, you, are the you are not the father. You are, you are. <laughs> he knew he wasn't the father. I'm sorry, Mr. G. Oh, he's sad. He's not the father. Now, see, this is this is what horrors do. They cause pain, man. My man shouldn't be crying, but he wanted to be the father, and he isn't. Get those stones, Abdullah. All he wanted to do is be a librarian. He's the best librarian in the I fucking can't. world. He makes 30K. I'm telling you before, I dated a broke man before. I'll never uh, do it again. She just wants to break. I'll never do it again. A, se a 70, 75K man might be do okay. Do you know how much rent costs in Miami nowadays? Yeah, you can get 70K a 1-1. 70K one. is not... If he checks every box and he makes 70K, he has a 1-1. One -one. Not in a Brickle studio, like a fucking penthouse. A regular 1-1, one -one, but he's every great to you in every other aspect. Maybe not like Dubai trips and like... Hard pass, trust me, with this bitch. First class, but he can do like a nice date once a week, make you feel special. And he makes 70K. I don't want that lifestyle. Nope. You're going to make me... Remember this, girls. I miss you. I've been wow. That's the definition of a beta fucking male. All he wanted to look at this. Look at this. They're on a date together, or you know, she he's fucking basically paying to take her out somewhere. She has no interest in this man because he's just a nice guy. And she fucking just picks anyone in the crowd to fucking kiss. I mean, listen, this is as much that beta's fucking fault as this bitch is. To be disrespected like that by a woman? Whew. Whew. I go, oh, she puts his head on her shoulders to give him a little bit of affection. Oh, you're paying for me, so I won't kiss your beta ass, but... I put my head on your shoulder. That's pathetic. I miss you. See, women will always make exceptions for certain men, while men like this. Being the nice guy is definitely last. Remember this, girls. None of you can be first, but all of you can be next. Woo! That's Ric Flair, a five life path. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole is. Okay, well, first of all, fuck Tate. Jordan Peterson's nothing but a fucking drug addict, and this guy got. So, I mean. Whatever. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my God. That's cool. They thought they died in the military. Wow. That's cool. Oh <laughs> wow. 
That puts a smile on my face. <laughs> 82 year old man is expecting his fourth child, the 29 year old. Now, first of all, the 29 year old's in her enemy year. So you're fucking up that child that way by having sure, making sure his mother is his enemy sign. Then you're 82 years old. How fucking good are your fucking male genes at 82 years old? This is child fucking abuse. This is fucking child abuse. You sick old fucking man. You fucking pedophile. You always, here's the thing, man. A good relationship is always one where the girl is a little bit insecure. Not like, uh, bitch. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. On who? Mm. Probably a long list there. Look, look at this beta male. Has his hands in his pocket. Look at him looking away. Fucking little bitch. Zach Efron. Josh Bowman, some celebrity, hot celebrity. You turn that down? Mm mm. Couldn't do it. <laughs> look, look how he's looking. Look how he's looking. Ugh, that's the beta male. I resent you, look, but I'm not going to do shit about it. Pathetic. Man should always make a way. I feel like I'm not going to work my hands to the to the bones to provide. I'm not going to work 16 to nor should you. Why should a woman work 16? I get it. 20 hours a day or a week to provide for my family. You're the man. You have the penis. Go get a job. Get three. I agree. Three jobs. My man has two jobs. Go get seven jobs and two side hustles to buy me the things that I want because I'm a woman. I mean, I kind of agree with that. I kind of do. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? And, and, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife? Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening. See, every girl wants a strong man, um, so when a successful man, so when a man, when a man is successful, strong, you know, um, women are gonna come. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I'm, I, I'm the type of guy like I hate for a woman to be able to like make my day or break, like break my day, like to have that control over my feelings and and like and and that. So when I feel like a woman has like a, a girl will have that control to mess up my day or make my day or you know like can just trigger me that easy i like tend to like try to like separate yeah, myself yeah away. yeah try exactly try to separate myself because let's see uh who's over here uh cheerleading for myron in the chat scooby snack seven um listen uh how has myron helped anybody myron's helped his own wallet well, Myron's definitely got richer, but Myron has a body count of 400, and, and this is by his own admission. How is that helpful to anybody? Well, come on, guys. If this guy had a wife and kids and he was telling all this shit to hoes, that would be different, but he doesn't. Just another NPC, man. That's just a fuck. So you have two guys, right? They're both equally beautiful. One guy is a great seducer. He's super charming. And the other guy, well, he's not charming at all, but he's very successful. Which one will you go for? The successful one. I look in the future. What do you mean by that? I dated the guy who was like handsome, very charming. Uh, it didn't end up very well to me. And I kind of knew it from... Oh, you mean he cheated on you. And then after he cheated on you, you decided, oh, let's go with a nice guy. That's exactly what happened. The beginning so i kind of learned my lesson and i have to be like more rational about choosing my future partner what was he andrew tate said depression isn't real uh scooby in the chat room so andrew tate uh, myron's one of andrew tate's disciples so again depression isn't real so he hasn't helped anyone has he come on man get the fuck out of here
Go on Fresh and Fit's bullshit fucking podcast. He missing. Maturity. He didn't get, have a game plan. Yeah, he's like kind of living today. I felt like this today and that's my excuse. Isn't that sort of dangerous? Like men should be focused on their purpose. So As a man. You, my husband? As come a on, man. No. Like, come on, get it right. Come As on, a man. Saying? No, no, let me finish. As a man. You're going to be out in the world, destroying the world, doing what you do, etc. When you come home, you don't want that same energy. You don't want to have Who to be... Who says that I have the same energy? But what you need to understand uh -huh. is that because a woman wants to speak her mind and disagree with you, uh -huh. does not make her a combative masculine problem. It does not. Yes, it does. <laughs> in most cases, it does. Because these bitches need to learn when to shut the fuck up. And a lot of women don't know when to shut the fuck up. I love when, when women reject me or, or when women don't really know what I got going on and when they finally see me again and I'm and I'm shining and I'm up and I'm and I'm looking good and all these all these women on me oh like now you want to job back on this dick. oh now you now you want to now you want to come up older men did not speak of marriage with like high esteem like yeah bro this is something that you should strive for right here marriage taking care of your family get you one woman forever good yeah this is what you need to be doing that's not the tutelage that we get that's the tools i give really they'll chase you is that your strategy yeah does it work works very well it's you how do you make yourself known as potentially available just don't do it don't you know you you meet a lady you, you express to her how wonderful she looks or how you respond to the way she looks or whatever it is, and then go on about your business. You know, they're like horses in a pasture sometimes. And the horse, horse sees you, he's coming. You told me that your OF bag's pretty big. Of course, it's big. Like, I was like, when you told me how much you're making, I was like, holy shit. And I think that a lot of guys get like pissed off because they're like, damn, I have to work a nine to five. I have to work so hard and these girls are making so much more money. So I think that's why they're haters. Do you agree? Yeah, but like in a sense, I feel for them. Like I get comments that are like, wow, it's so easy to be a girl. And I'm like, it is. You told me that you're. Yep. It's very easy to be a woman. Not easy to be a man. How to recover from any texting conversation that's dying with a woman. When you feel the conversation is boring, negative, or reaching a dead end, show strong leadership and completely change the subject to something you feel is interesting. For example, you could say, hey, what's with that XYZ of yours? Tell me about it. And make sure the XYZ is attached to something she's likely to be. Uh, people in the chat room, I don't believe anything Alex Jones says. I, I believe I'll find a virgin in a whorehouse before anything that comes out of Alex Jones' mouth passionate about this will easily save you from getting stuck i'm bad i was with my boyfriend last year i started talking to this guy who was in a band ended up visiting him like i drove to la spent three days with him and he said Break you have a boyfriend and you drove somewhere three days to be with another guy use a whore your boyfriend moved to la it was like went there on a friday that monday i rode with my boyfriend who i was with for five and a half years you were with someone for five and a half years you drove somewhere to meet a guy, and he happened to be famous, and you just dumped him? But th this is women in America, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. For the guy in the band, good guys do not finish first, it turns out. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, you pimped your own fucking wife out. You're going to pimp your fucking daughter out, too. Nasty fucking motherfucker. By the way, he's a swine, just like Logan Paul. The ratio of attractive women to attractive men is off. Take all the makeup off your face <laughs> and post your face right after you get out the shower. That is how men have to walk around looking. Man, we, men don't have makeup. The only thing men can actually do is have a goatee or shave. So we have that, but we're not doing this. Trying to make ourselves look fucking pretty. Well, some guys are fucking fat videos like this before but i don't think y'all i don't have anybody to vent to no open ears you know that's why i want a woman somebody to get no, 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 no 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take this one for you kevin you you as a man do not come home from your problems and start telling your fucking wife about all your problems you do not want your wife involved in that type of stuff you do not want your wife thinking about having stress that causes masculine tendencies. You don't want anything to do with that. You want your uh, wife to go to the hair salon. 
You want your wife to go to the mall with the kids. You want her to go to the beach, have fun. That's what your wife's life should consist of if you're a real man and you can afford it. No, 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 no. Oh, John, no, no, no. See, uh-uh. Okay, now I'm about to take my belt off. I'm about to whoop your ass now. Please tear me apart, man. Every woman is not your mother. Your mother is the only woman you can talk to and vent to because she. He's right. She had you. She bore you. These other women don't owe you the love a mother owes you. Their love is conditional, and it should be. Women have hypergamy. Understand something. That fairy tale sh is that, that's why you're in mouth. He's the goat. The dad and the mother. He's the goat. You want to talk so you have two guys. Look at the WNBA. Gentlemen, understand something. If you are a single man with no children and you are earning $75,000 or more, you are now platinum. Shout out to platinum. If you're making six figures or more, you are now diamond level. If you're making 55,000 to 60,000, you are gold. You are far more valuable than you have ever been. And here's the trick. You guys don't know how valuable you are. And that is why so many of my critics and detractors are angry at me because I'm waking. I'm making way more than 60 to 50 K a month. Way more than that. So I, I, I'm way past the gold level, but see, that's the thing. My wife found me when I was dead broke. I'm loyal. Something you women fuck up at. You pick the wrong guy. He cheats on you and you blame him. No, bitch. You picked the wrong one. Take accountability. My wife picked the right one 20 years ago. That's why she's living like a princess now. Up to the Kill with Kevin. Their true value. The average doctor is not making it. Most guys who text, but no, the problem course. is in this society, male energy, male thinking, male energy is vilified. And you're, you're taught to think there's something. No, uh, this is coming from a guy who was raised by a single mother. And, I, and the guy, uh, his stepfather was pretty much a drug addict. And I got this from Joe Rogan's father himself. Something wrong with being masculine. Being masculine is the reason why we don't speak German. Okay? The whole reason why you need <laughs> male people is because... Uh, God forbid your husband will come home tomorrow. Saturday. Can you name three countries uh, besides the USA? The name... Real quick. Three countries. Africa, China. Ask her the fucking... <laughs> Africa's a country, huh? Ask her to name who the uh, three Kardashians are. She'll fucking name that one quick. Bumble Couldn't you just you say Jess? Isabel. Can't just nag his mom rather sleep with her than you. Isabel. Why would you say that? Mom and Uncle Tommy all the time. Enough. You know what I did? To get back to you? No. You know what I did? The fuck did you drive me Wow, that's some good acting right there. He fucking suffered because of you! And what have you done, my fucking hell? And my fucking kids, Grace! You're fucking my brother! You're fucking my brother in my fucking house! I love you, Grace! These are girls, please. You know how much I love you! You know what I... Grace, you know what I fucking... You know what I can do with these fucking ass, Grace! Can you name three countries besides the USA? The name. I want to watch this one more time. Wow. So I'm assuming, based on the context, this is the father, and they thought he was dead, and the woman moved on and started sleeping with another man who's another provider. I mean, listen, guys, if you're the provider in the family and you die a woman's gonna look for a new provider this isn't it's not betrayal that's that's a woman needs someone to take care of them and the kids they're only loyal to as long as you're alive as they should be i i, I don't i mean this is heartbreaking but
This guy should get an Emmy for this fucking acting. I'd rather sleep with Uncle Tommy than you. Isabel! Why would you say that? Mom and Uncle Tommy are sick all the time! Enough! Uh, to the person in chat, uh, if you got vaccinated at 14, no, it's not your fault. It's your parents' fault. Your parents fucking failed you. I'm sorry. To get back to you? No. You know what I did? The fucking you me, you fucking bitch! Fucking brother in her house. I love you, Grace! He's up, girls, please. You know how much I love you! But, you know, my buddy over there, Michael, he's actually uh, pretty prosperous. He's making close to $40,000 a year. But... 40000 a year, huh? What are you laughing at? You're how laughing much at you? Very low income. You know, what, did, what do you think the average income is? The average minimum is 100000 Dumb bitch. Really In California, especially too. That's like minimum wage. Huh? I didn't quite understand that one. If you're not ready to call me for my baby daddy's phone number, <laughs> Yo, do not what? talk to me. Who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. Ooh, the woman for sure. The woman. The woman. The woman. So, if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? The wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that place the man at a lower value and status to the woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Yeah. Yes. So, don't women typically want to date a man who's a prize and not a loser? No, I like to be better. Huh? If you're a young guy now... Show... Um... In a relationship, do you believe a man or the woman is the prize? The woman. I agree. <laughs> We're shit. Dudes are shit. Dudes suck. Why do you believe the woman is a prize? Because we're holy, baby. We're holy. <laughs> I agree. I think women bring a lot more to the table. You pay the fucking mail. I mean, I mean. Look, look. You notice how he has his hands in his pockets? Like that other fucking beta male we were talking about in the very beginning? Hands in the pockets? Subserving ass motherfucker. I think men are men and they do stuff, but okay. women really close it all. So, all. what do women bring to the table from your point of view? Oh, <laughs> open legs, emotional stability, mental st emotional stability. What the fuck? Emotional stability, motherfucker. Have you been in relationships with women? Stability, uh, forward thinking. Uh, if you live that home, forward thinking. <laughs> You would not even stand a chance. Right, right. right. If you made twenty thousand dollars a year, yeah. she wouldn't look your way. Right. There's one thing that yeah. you take. So like the single mean that like I'm talking to a guy, but basically he doesn't qualify to be my man. Absolutely, I'm single, but I'm talking to. I had a friend who's. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit. Yeah, because. Men don't actually like whores. Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. You, 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 notice, you notice this crazy ass bitch? If a man asking me his body count, he can get fucked. You know, everything in her mind is about sex. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People act. Oh, we're getting an STD. Making sure you don't get a sexually transmitted disease. That's stupid. Oh, what do you know? Never would have came to me. Actually asked that shit? Yes. You Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong man. If a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man. That, if a man's asking about your body count, that means he's not a beta bitch. So yeah, yeah. You're, you're definitely right about that. And, and he can get fucked. Like, that's so no, you can hit the fucking curb, bitch. You belong in the streets. Fucking stupid. Get fucked. Yeah, you, you can tell right here. Just look at her. She's mentally ill. She slept with so many men. She is mentally ill. Sure. 
I don't see a guy that has potential more than their partner. They befriend that man. They become friends with that man and they wait it out. A lot of girls have that guy who they see potential with and they befriend it. So here, so here you go. This is your warning. If there's a dude that your girl became really close with after y'all were already dating, that's the potential. Show my love. She's actually spitting game here. She's actually spitting game here. There's some of these girls who are out here doing exactly, and this is why women don't like guys being around other women because they know there's fucking women like this around. Listen to her. I don't see a guy that has potential more than their partner. They befriend that man. They become friends with that man and they wait it out. A lot of girls have that guy who they see potential with and they befriend it. So here, so here you go. This is your warning. If there's a dude that your girl became really close with after y'all were already dating, that's the potential. Hmm. So in case she skips out on you, she got a backup already. Just because he ain't had no money, you love me? Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If he's making more money than me, I mean, if I'm making more money than him, I don't... You should help him get some more money. Actually, how am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. You mean you're only fans, girl? A woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You right. How can you lead if he's making most money? So, yeah, the girl's got a point. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. You want me to explain why men care about body count? <laughs> I, I got it. I haven't told you the reasons why you men don't have care to about it. it to me. I'm okay. What well, mansplain? That's yeah. kind of a sexist <laughs> thing to say. You don't, that's sexist to say mansplain. You're literally a white man looking at me, telling me like, what? if you what? can't what? see how you being a white man has anything to do with like the power you have. I, I love how these women say, if you can't understand why this happens, I'm not gonna explain it to you. Shut the fuck up. Having conversation. Then. Yeah, yeah, I, you're right. This is a gay podcast. You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. You're gonna be the one <laughs> Yo, Logan, he's talking to you. This left the dried up husk because when she's done what you believe, she'll walk away. But here's the thing. Guys, when you learn to walk away from a woman, you're in a position of power. You better learn. Ideally, my husband needs to be making like. It's to be me. Okay, my suspicion is you're gonna say 175. 250. 250? Like 650,000. What the fuck? No, I, I make that money, but why the fuck would a guy be with you to make that type of money? Get the fuck out of here. Fellas, I'm here to give you some advice. Oh, Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go f my ex real quick. So I drove down to the gas station, let him creep me, and then I came home to sneak into bed. My boyfriend woke up and then wanted to f me, and he started eating me out and told me how good my. Oh. You know. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not really into, you know, thanking God and stuff like this, but I never, ever had to deal with some shit like this. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. Look at the smirk on this bitch's face. She needs to get stoned. She needs to get stoned. Fellas, I'm here to get. Uh, li listen again to what this bitch did. She's sleeping with her boyfriend. She decides she wants to get fucked like a whore by her ex. Then she comes back and her dude starts eating her out. I want to fucking throw up. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go fuck my ex real quick. So I drove down to the gas station, let him creep me. And then I came home to sneak into bed. My boyfriend woke up and then wanted to fuck me. And he started eating me out and told me how good my tastes. And he's eating my ex's c*** <laughs> to me. And I never told him. <laughs> Women like this need to be f Women like this need to get stoned. Fucking nasty ass whore. What do you think the issue is with dating? 
The issue with dating is that guys expect way too much, I think. They buy you one dinner and they think that you have to have sex with them. The fuck? You, 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 I think you'd be having sex without dinner. The fuck out of here. Big energy. Big, big energy. I don't like this term, big energy. Or small dick energy. Because everyone's about body positivity, right? How are we going to talk about men who have desirable characteristics have big dicks, and men who have undesirable characteristics have small penises? There are some wonderful men with small penises. How would you know? How the fuck would you know? Fucking homos. Now, I'm not excusing it. Why is catcalling such a big deal? I think catcalling is such a big deal because I'm not out here dressed like this. You can give a little pan of the outfit. This is not for others' view. This is for me, and this is what I feel most comfortable in. This is not an invitation for you to come. Yes, let's put some fucking uh, meat in front of a bear, but say, oh, you can look, but you can't touch. Bitch, you need some Sharia law. You need to have a fucking hijab to fucking be placed over you because you're a fucking whore. Objectify me or decide that this body is meant for you. It's mine. Okay, and, I, and that's fair. I agree with that. Now, um, for a lot of women who say they dress for themselves, why do you often see women walking around in uncomfortable shoes and skimpy outfits when it's freezing outside? Because I made that money, and I'm going to spend that money on some cute heels, and I worked on this body, and I'm going to show it off. No, no, I get that, but I'm just saying if they were dressing for themselves, wouldn't they be comfortable? Yeah. I think that me in heels looks a lot better than me in just a pair of sweatpants. I do feel better, and that is still for me. Even if it's not the most comfortable, it feels good to me. She's so full of shit. Beyonce is so fine that if she worked... Yeah, Jay-Z fucking uh, cheated on her with another man. Oh, you didn't hear about that, did you? Wonder why. My life-changing advice... You're a woman over 27, it's time to sell. <laughs> You're a woman over 30, it's time to put some... It's, the sign, it's time to mark this shit on 50% off. If you're over 35, it's time to put that shit on clearance. If you have 40, it's time to put that shit at the outlet. If you have 50, Salvation Army. <laughs> Why should men be expected to bring more to the table than they ever have in order to please? The bitch has a nose ring. You already know she's fucked up in the head. It's women who bring less to the table than they ever have. Because the man is the provider, baby. Agree. Why are women typically spoiled beyond their needs while men are typically deprived of their basic needs? Because women deserve more. <laughs> Why do women often choose to make lists of what they want in a relationship rather than what they bring to the table? Because it's women first. The man is there to accommodate for our needs. <laughs> our needs. Never stops with these broads. To Medicaid for $276, making your monthly um, child support payment $2,576. <laughs> That's how much you gotta pay. No, that's nah. how much you gotta pay. <sighs> Thank you, you're The children live with him. Thank you, you I don't see the celebration. Thank you. Wait a minute. What, what happened to the celebration? Because you're the one that's paying that $2,576. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. Thank you, you And I said I made my ruling, so I really don't have to hear anything further. Did you have any questions about that number? Oh, she got checked. Not at this time, Your Honor. Oh, okay. I think body count matters, so I, I don't know if that's inherently entirely mis misogynistic, but that's uh, kind of unpleasant or that men's value is somehow based in other things. We all make judgments, whether you guys want to admit it or not. We all make judgment calls when it comes to uh, potential partners in the same way. Like all of most of you just said, like, I want to date a guy who's taller than me. That is a numerical measurement. You're making a value call, so to speak. You want to keep a relationship going, you stay in the masculine role and let your woman stay in the feminine role. She gets to vent and download to you. You go talk to the goddamn tree. I, this man's keeping it real. This man's keeping it real. That's why he's the fucking OG. Let's go back. I mean, he killed him, but he's still the OG. Listen to him. Listen to him. Your woman vents to you. You want to vent? Go fucking vent to the fucking tree. Your woman don't need to hear your problems. Your problems are your problems. Your woman's problems are your problems. That's how it works. A relationship going, you stay in the masculine role and let your woman stay in the feminine role. She gets to vent and download to you. You go talk to the goddamn. Matrix Prime slash underscore is my IG account. Yes. I'm tree. 
You only cry in front of your woman when a, an immediate family member dies or when you break both arms. And then you can only cry. Yeah, I mean, if some family member dies, yeah, you can cry. Break both arms, probably still shouldn't cry. For about three seconds. Look at the WNBA. They have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a fucking league. Where are all the feminists? That place should be packed with feminists. Wearing jerseys, slashing. The Kilton podcast. Yeah. Huh? The interesting fella. I expected more out of him by now. Uh, Rang Tang, he's, he's the man, Circa. I never really thought of myself as mm -hmm. an attractive person. Like, mm -hmm. I would never call myself. Yeah, you're, you're damn right about that, bitch. Self anything more. Told me, you know what? I don't want to be with you no more. I'm going to college. I'm focusing on myself. Right in front of my face. Right in front of my face. She told me that. She told me that. Right in my face. In front of my homie. You a bitch ass, you know the rest. What a lot of guys do is they simply become nice guys. Like their mom raised them to be this anti-man. This nice, sweet guy who's charming, who does everything that women want, who's constantly obedient, and, and, and he's whatever she wants, he'll take care of her. He does that his entire life. He gets no respect. He gets walked all over. He gets treated like a second-class citizen. And then across the way, there's a guy who's rude and disrespectful, a little bit abrasive, and then he has women flocking to him. And then a nice guy says to himself, well, I'm doing everything nice. He's doing everything wrong. What? Screw being nice let me be wrong mm -hmm. but what you don't realize is you're doing it wrong and he's doing it wrong mm -hmm. and so what you see is that the nice guy does everything that makes women happy but doesn't do anything that makes women horny the playboy He ain't kidding, man. It does all the things that make women horny, but doesn't make women happy. But here's the difference. Horny gets them in the room. Happy keeps them in the room. Mm -hmm. So the nice guy, the reason why he gets no girls, because he has no one to come into the room. What a lot of guys do is they... It has been determined by this court. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. <laughs> Miss yeah. Miller. Respect. Sorry. Miss Miller. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. You just show me where your priorities were right there. I'm sorry. Because I held out hope. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? Dumb bitch. I'm nice. No, you were. This is. Look at that right there. You know she's a broad. You know exactly what the fuck she is. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit in here day after day after day with women hope. No, I, I, I was halfway done with the podcast with Bobby and she canceled on me. So it is what it is. Yes, she's 100% an interesting plant. A man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way, and abide by a court order and sign a birth certificate and come day after day and week after week so they can grow visitation to have a relationship with a child. And you have no compassion for not just him, but for Zaylee. She's three years old. Now, he's not just going to be heartbroken. We got to break this news to her. And you're all over here cheering like it's a sport. This is this baby's life. And I ask you, where's this other man? I don't know. And you know he don't want nothing to do with you. Sitting up there cheering. Mr. Rasmussen, I am so sorry. It has... That bitch laid it down. If I find a girl that I want to make my wife... <laughs> what makes you think they haven't? And I find her super attractive. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Because that's what I would do. I would make her my wife. I would ask her to marry me and then make her my wife. You say you are a feminist. You're 100% a feminist. <laughs> that is feminist. You look, you, like, you heard me about, say that. Oh, you I heard make her my wife. Like, yeah, because that's what I would matter. do. It's I, like, I, I'm an equal human, the woman. You, not about you, you just say that. To make her your wife. Obviously, she would want to be she my wife. She has her own life. She wants to be your wife, too. Yeah, of course, but she's she not going to go she's... to the club. She wants to do She wants to no, go to the club. No, 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 no. Your fucking slut ass wants to go to the club. She doesn't. 
clubs. Pictures? She's not yeah, going to want to go to clubs. No, because here's the thing. That's a non-negotable for me in marriage. Okay, well if then, I, if good, I find, if I find a woman, if there's plenty of women out good there luck. that don't want to go to clubs all the time. Okay, well. There's plenty of women out there that don't want to. This whore wants to go to the club all the time to get drunk and get fucking fucked every night. Nasty ass fucking cunt. It's admiring women. Baby, I'm all about it. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. The vast majority of divorces are initiated by women. Studies have also shown that women are more likely to get divorced after getting promoted at work, achieving greater financial success. Meanwhile, women are far more likely to make it to make it out well in the divorce, receiving alimony, other forms of quote unquote spousal support. So women are more and more becoming the breadwinners in their families, and yet the family court system doesn't seem to have noticed that. Alimony payments are still doled out like it's, you know, 1953. What this means is that a woman, this is what can happen. A woman can marry a man, leave him for any reason she wants, even after cheating on him, and still take half the assets and be awarded with an allowance from her ex-husband in perpetuity. Think about that. Think about that. A woman can be in a marriage, cheat on her husband, take half his shit, and then get alimony. Motherfucker, this is what stones were made for by God. It's not only outrageously unjust, but it also purposefully in disincentivizes marital fidelity while incentivizing disloyalty and infidelity and divorce. The vast majority of divorces are initiated by... I'm trying to, like, make... I've actually heard a couple times to where she says, I gave birth to him, it's your job to take care of him. You believe that? Yes. Yeah, no, I'm not about to do this game with you. Since you left a month and a week ago, have you given him any money for the children? I don't need an explanation either. Is it yes or no? No. Okay, thank you. All right. She's actually asked for money instead of giving. In a world where men have become soft and weak, it has never been easier to stand out most men don't lift weights. Most men don't have a personal hygiene routine. Most men do not understand female nature. Most men do not have a purpose. Don't be like most. The saying it, guys. Right. Women are hypergamous, which means they mate up and they mate across and up dominance hierarchies. And so, yes. if you're a male who's successful in a given hierarchy, the probability that you're going to have additional mating opportunities is exceptionally high. It's an unbelievably good predictor of that. Don't you have any drugs to go uh, go do, Jordan Peterson? So As a man, you, you my husband? As Come a on, man, no. <laughs> I don't care how. You know, I'm an old-fashioned kind of dude. I'm the type of person that believes when it comes to a woman, especially if it's your wife, it's your girlfriend, it's your daughters, in my case, or anybody else, you know what, if they're hungry, it's because I'm starving. I'm not comfortable unless they're comfortable. It's my responsibility as a man. Well, generally speaking, you have access to friends. People are not going to tell you how friends can literally strip away what you have going on. These guys that you were with, they're not trying to elevate with you. They're not trying to go to higher planes and higher places with you. They're not trying to get a passport with you. They're not trying to make six figures with you. They're not trying to even make their first. If you're a woman and you don't want to be noticed by men, if indeed even the brief glance of a man offends you and causes trauma, then you might consider wearing clothing when you go out in public. Now, I'm not saying you, you need to cover yourself in a burlap sack or hit the gym in a parka and, a, and snow pants, but I am saying that you probably want to wear more than just your underwear. At some point in the past few years, the nation's women decided by majority vote, I guess, that clothes are optional when working out in public. The thing is, you don't behave this way and dress like that unless you want attention. You can claim otherwise, but you're lying. You dress that way because you want attention, period. If you're a woman and you don't want to be noticed. The guy paying for the data is him adhering to his traditional. My husband, hopefully 
ex-husband soon, uh, for child support. He roughly pays about a thousand a month, and I feel he should be paying more because he makes more. He makes more than I do. Okay, but he's not under a court order, right? No, ma'am. He just gets so it. he voluntarily gives you a thousand dollars a month for child support. Yes, and exactly voluntarily. What is the visitation schedule between the two of you? Um, he has the kids Sunday through Wednesday. That split. So let me just make sure I, I got this straight. He's voluntarily giving you $1,000 a month for child support. I'm not going to order anybody to pay child support. What I'm going to do is that you you testified to this. You said tuition was $1,000, yes, $500 per child. So you know what? You're going to pay $500, wow. and he's going to pay Joe. $500 directly to the school. My husband. What is you guys' body count? Nine, ten, three. Three. Whoa. How much is it? It's like 11, 12. Yeah, she's lying. What's your body count? It's three. Oh, it is? That's dope, that's dope. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's two? Two. Okay, bet that, bet that. What is you guys' body count? Said you are not her top option. When you're there, no wrong. How many times you've gotten Alongside with the nice guy factor, there comes a predictability factor. You're just predictable, and that's a guy that a lot of women avoid. The nice guy. Let's focus on getting the chicken bag up. Let's focus on getting our physique right. Let's focus on working on ourselves. Let's focus on getting our mind right instead of worry about the dumb, stupid ass. Money also comes first. If, you if you're a man and you're on your hero's journey, you got to get used to spending a lot of time alone by yourself with yourself. It's Sounds like a seven life path there. Solitude. Keyword is solitude. All we want is be treated exactly like guys, right? But if you listen to them, and if you have to rank yourself, he's afraid of reject. All women. I don't think that being a narcissist. Why would anybody want to deal with you? Women want a man that's going to lead them. They want someone that they can follow. And you're that guy, right? <laughs> I can't compete. 18 to 22 year old girls live different lives. They get things for being young and hot. Like, I want to be on a boat. I love. Men are typically expected to court women, approach women. All right, enough of this shit. Um, I have basically watched enough of this crap to understand that most of these men don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and most of these women can't keep their legs closed. That's what it fucking comes down to. It's a damn shame, but it is what it is. Uh, let's wrap this shit up, man. Uh, any people in the yeah, anyone in the chat room want to say anything before it's time to go? They looked some stuff in the Discord. How many people are watching? All right, go, where's the Discord at? I'll go through the Discord. do that a little bit but then after that man it's time for gary to smoke and these women some fucking hoes bro nasty ass fucking bitches man nasty ass fucking hoes man. Ugh. Watching all that shit, I just want to whoop someone's ass. All right. All right, I'll go. All right. What do you mean? Uh-huh. Hold this and then hit the link. This one or that one? fuck are they showing me here <laughs> why, so so why the fuck is someone showing me zillow <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you people man Ugh. all right this one yeah. this one uh let's see watch out girls i'm famous watch out i'm famous yeah, almost touched one of these peasants. Hey girls, I'm famous. 
I'm famous on YouTube. <laughs> Girls, just a little on the. Hey, man, go out with Pearl on the Las Vegas Boulevard. See how famous you are, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I went out there with Pearl. Five people recognize me. Fifty people recognize her. Go out with her and see how famous you are. <laughs> that that that's something else, man. All right, none of what's. Here. The fuck? What is kind of statue of this? Statue ki of, of, of some kind of fucking thing eating kids? I bet it is German, those fucking sick fucks. I don't know. What, the, what, what do you want me to comment on this for? The fuck is this? Put the mask on. Yeah, hell yeah, take that shit off, kid. You gotta, you gotta wear it on the no, the hell you do. And smack that bitch. Yeah, see, the kid doesn't want anything to do with that garbage. There you go. Keep it right there. This is child abuse. This is straight child abuse. Get that shit off. Straight child abuse, man. Oh, my God. Great child abuse, man. Uh-oh. Waller time. You know it's going to be some bullshit. I take a gay employee all day. Just don't be a dickhead. Like, yeah. don't do that. Don't. Don't. He'd take a gay employee all day. I bet he would. Yeah. I feel like you're special because of it. And, like, please come work for me. I love you. Just today. I, I bet he does, man. He seems to love gay people an awful lot. There's a message in a banker friend of mine. He really helped me in my career. The dude's gay. Oh, oh. A gay man helped you in his career. Really? Didn't involve you holding the ankles, Waller. Funny, he makes like jokes. He's like, you look handsome. I'm like, shut up, bro. I'm I, I, I bet he did. I bet he did. Listen, um, suspect rule number 51. If someone says a gay man helped him out a lot, it, it might be suspect. Fucking faggot. <laughs> this motherfucker, man. Uh-oh, oh, uh, here's another fucking cock. Let's see, what is this fucking faggot talking about? Constitutionally protected privacy right to fuck a puppy in your room. Sure, yeah, I think so. What? But abortion, that's a big step. Yes, <laughs> of course. I think the state is interested in... Isn't in a big step. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I... I, I I might have misheard something, so I need to play this one more time. Do you have a constitutionally protected privacy right to fuck a puppy in your room? Sure. Yeah. I wow. He said you have a constitutional right to fuck a puppy? You sick piece of fucking garbage, man. I'm going to get rid of this guy's IG account, man. Fuck him, you fucking disgusting human being. Probably gonna pimp out his daughter in the fucking future too. Fucking faggot. He's doing that way right now. Hey, Yo, can I help you? You gotta get away from my porch, dude. Bronx, New York. Someone send me this crap. Guys, you gotta do better, man. You re Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 
seven years. We just got married. Mm-hmm. We're not in an open relationship, but from a porn perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no other guys is busting her coochie and ass off. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I know you was mad. Oh, shit. You was I mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I wasn't. But, I, would, but, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But you was kind of, like, disappointed a little bit. Like, you <sighs> five, like, cut, like, cut. That's your sitch. You know, I agreed to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like, yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like, if you don't want me to, I won't do it. Whatever, man. Uh, oh, listen, we know this guy's a piece of shit. Oh, he got here, man. What do you do? Oh, no. oh. All right, let me let me try because I'm I'm not understanding what happened. I'm not understanding what happened at all. <laughs> Is he about to give her the ring and it flew away? <laughs> Gender reveal. Don't the doctors tell you that shit six months before? Fucking losers. Losers. D. Devlin is Conor McGregor's wife. She had supported Conor McGregor from day one. He was on welfare and she was working full time to help that man out. And you can see when you watch these interviews with him, that woman is like blindly loyal to McGregor in a great way. And he says it all the time. If I didn't have this great woman with me, there is no way I would have been able to ascend to such great heights. When you're a man and you have a good woman by your side. that So this guy right here. Um, I gave him a numerology reading. Uh, he's pretty popular. He used to be in Japan and stuff like that. Um, I told her after he after I told him after he gave me his birthday that he is really good at body language, and he sold courses on body language. You can ask him if you think I'm lying. Does not give you. Sh- <laughs> That's how good I am. All right. Well, yeah, I know. I know who that is. I can, yeah, I could talk to him if I wanted to. Did you know you can literally harness the entire energetic network of trees in order to expand your consciousness? Uh, South Astrology. Okay, David, wrap this shit up. I'm done. End stream time. This has been a GG33 production. End stream, right?